welcome back to our Par Shop Popsicles. This is actually our season finale. We have filmed 13 straight weeks of sweet tastes of Torah and you have been with us the whole summer as we have learned together and enjoyed some sweet treats. So this week the Torah portion is called Ki Teitze and it comes to us from Deuteronomy chapter 21. We will actually be thinking about chapters 22 and following, where we hear such commandments as, if you find something that belongs to your neighbors, please return it. We also learn that we should have compassion for animals who work in the field. For example, we would never want to have an ox plowing next to a donkey because one animal would experience a burden that is too hard for them. We also learn of the commandment to build a border or a barrier around your roof so that if someone is on the roof of your house, they don't fall off. So all of these commandments help us think about caring for others, having empathy for others, even animals, not just human beings and they remind me of our golden rule. The single most valuable lesson that we have, care about others. In fact, the golden rule states, do unto others as you would have others do unto you. But I actually think the lessons in the Torah are even more important than the golden rule because we don't have to think of ourselves first in order to care for others. So, because we have the most important thing in the Torah this week, caring about others, we are going to think about the most consumed fruit in the world. Perhaps the most important fruit in the world. And that fruit is, can I get a drum roll? And that fruit is the banana, which in Hebrew we actually say banana. This fruit is a big deal. I have read that, besides being the most popular fruit in the world, that this fruit even drives the economy in some Pacific countries, for it is the most important export. And even though there are a variety of fruits, of all different fruits that we eat, the banana that we eat is the same variety everywhere. This fruit is a big deal. So we are going to go big as well. Ella actually ruined one of the surprises. I saw you turn this around. Mm -hmm. This is actually the biggest jar of Nutella I have oh, ever okay. seen. It is bigger than your head, Ella. All I did was put Nutella on the shopping list. No, it is literally. And this is what showed up. So what are we going to do here today? We are going to make banana popsicles, but not just any banana popsicle. This is a season finale, people. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're, we're using peanut butter and chocolate. We're going to use peanut butter and chocolate and banana. Now wait, I have spoons here. This is not really okay. safe, what we're okay. doing. We'll just... I'm going to give you each a spoon, and, and that is what you get. Okay? okay. One uh -huh. spoon. I have this. So a little bit of preparation for this recipe. I peeled two very ripe bananas. In fact, they were going brown, but that's the sweetest kind. Two ripe bananas and I put them in the freezer. So these are solid frozen bananas. We're gonna put those into the blender along with one cup of milk to start. I'm Can using I... soy milk. It's like a milkshake. We're gonna start with one cup of milk to see how the consistency goes. We can always add more. Then we're going to add about a quarter cup of peanut butter. We like to use 100% natural peanut butter. No added sugars are needed. I'm going to put it in. So let's use the clean spoon to scrape that in. Ooh, uh, yummy. Now for the chocolate. Now for the chocolate. You need a few tablespoons of chocolate. I'm not even going to measure because However much chocolate wanna you want to use works. Let's just get. Just use as much as we want. Not enough. We need a little more. 
Okay, so yes. we're going big. We're adding yes. one more scoop. I mean, we have a whole jar. So we have added two frozen bananas, a cup of milk, quarter cup of peanut butter, and a generous helping of chocolate into the blender. Let's see what happens. It is just a blend of fudgy, gooey goodness. We hope that you will remember this tremendous popsicle recipe. Hope it reminds you to be a tremendous person, caring for others and spreading that love that is so needed and important at this time. So I wanna thank you for joining us this entire summer for a fun project, a fun season of Parashah Popsicles. Who knows what we will be up to next, but I look forward to joining the youth community and our community in a creative study of Torah and Jewish engagement and living at this time. We wish you a Shana Tova. We will see you again at the holidays. Take care, everyone. Oh.